Hi everybody, it's Don. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we got some news today about the Canada-US border and it's finally opening up, at least in one direction. So we now have the border opening. It is going to open on August 9th for fully vaccinated Americans and Canadian citizens coming from the United States into Canada. If you've been fully vaccinated for at least 14 days, you do not have to quarantine when you come into town. You still have half to test within 72 hours saying that you've been COVID tested, but you do not have to quarantine when you get here if you've been fully vaccinated that's completely different if you haven't been vaccinated and it's not really a thing yet going on and then they're saying that by august i think it was uh, sorry september 7th that they will be opening up for international travelers from outside of canada united states as long as they have been fully vaccinated again by 14 days they provide a test and as well as it's an approved vaccine from Canada. So one of the vaccines that Canada has been approved so far. And children, if you were wondering about that, children accompanying their parents coming across the border under the age of 12 who can't get vaccinated, no, they do not have to go into quarantine, uh, provide any other thing than being with their parents. Uh, they do not have to quarantine, but they, they are being asked that, you know, parents keep them from, you know, dropping them off at a summer camp or something along those lines, right? Where they would immediately mingle with a bunch of other kids. So it looks like that's going to be happening very, very soon, August 9th. That's good news for a lot of people. That's only a couple weeks away. However, we haven't heard anything from the United States. The United States has not announced if they're going to follow the same game plan, if they're going to open on the same date. Now, uh, there have been a lot more politicians on the American side of the border advocating for the opening of the border. You know, it's ridiculous this isn't open yet. It's got to open up soon. We need the, we need the tourism dollars. Our, our economies are intertwined. It's really, really, you know, we're dependent on each other, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now Canada has announced when Americans who've been fully vaccinated can cross the border, but we haven't heard anything from the United States yet. Canada did inform the United States of our plans and how we're initializing it and what our procedures are gonna be, et cetera. And now I guess the United States are gonna come up with their plan if they even decide to open. Because there are some states that are, you know, introducing new restrictions lately in their, you know, like new back to mask wearing, things along those lines, which will make it a lot more complicated to open up the borders in some states. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the federal government comes up with and what they do. But it's, it is highly possible that on August 9th, you may see traffic in one direction only <laughs> coming across the border. Also for people say who are on the border who want to, say you, want, you, you live within like two hour drive of the Canadian US border and you want to go in, visit some friends, have dinner with your parents, a loved one or something and then drive back. Well, you will be allowed to take a test in your home country. Once you get that test, that's good for 72 hours. It doesn't matter if you, you don't have to retake a test in the other country, at least for Canada. So a Canadian citizen can get their test, get the results, drive across the border, spend the night, come back in, and that same test is still good. That as long as it's within the 72 hours of of the test that you took. So there's a lot of moving parts to this whole system. There's a lot of things still unanswered. Um, so we'll see what they say more for vaccinated passengers in the future. I know one of the restrictions that they're coming up with and they're saying, you know, if you're flying into the country right now at the border, you have to, you know, you still have to be tested when you arrive for COVID when you land. However, after August 9th, Apparently, it's going to be a random test for a random passenger. 
it's not going to be every passenger. That way they say they can concentrate more on the unvaccinated people and they can still keep an eye out for variants in the vaccinated people with the random spot checks. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, a ton, a ton of moving parts. United States, you were the ones who were really pushing. Let's open the border. We got to open the border. Let's board, open the border. Well, the ball's back in your court because Canada now says they are opening the border. So it's your turn. What are you going to do?